What's up, what's up, what's up, everyone? This is Coach Michelle coming to you live from the ATL. I am pumped up, pumped up, pumped up. Today's video is how do I get clients for my home care business? How do I get clients for my home care business? Ah! So, so important, right? And many of you want to know. Let me begin by saying I am Coach Michelle. I'm known for coming to you live from Atlanta on my Facebook page. So you can check me out there, Facebook at I am Coach Michelle. And guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. If this is your first time here, thank you. I I, I hope you continue and, and, and get what you need. Get what you need. My goal is to give the people what they need, right? So um, a little bit about me. I reside in Atlanta with my husband, Coach Rob, and we specialize in helping individuals mostly healthcare professionals like nurses, CNAs, nurse practitioners, LPNs. However, we specialize in helping individuals transition into the healthcare industry, meaning by owning a non-skilled private duty home care agency. So we want you guys to thrive. We want you guys to have the competence so you have the confidence to move into your journey and start serving the people in your community and generating that revenue. So we're doing those things simultaneously. Serve first and the money will come. So in today's video, guys, how do I get clients for my home care business? I'm going to say the top, mm, top five things. The top five things that I recommend and some of these cross over into different areas and different videos that I've done. But however, the top five that I recommend is establish your KPIs, your key performance indicators. I did um, a candid conversation a couple of weeks on that guy, a couple of weeks ago on that, guys. It's so important to have KPIs in your business, which were which are your key performance indicators. Let me sit back for a moment, guys. I'm getting so hyped up. <sighs> yes. Key performance indicators, guys. This is how you know how to run your business and know that you are doing things right in your business. Because if it's not measured, it's not managed. Let me say that again. If it's not measured, it's not managed, guys. So establish those key performance indicators. If you want to know more about that, if you want, you can go to my website, myhomecarecoach.com and um, click on services and then just go down where it says candid conversations and you'll see the one that talks about KPIs. Very, very important guys to have your key performance indicators in place. And then that way you can measure and manage all, if not, uh, yeah, I would say all, if not a lot of areas of your business. Personally, I say measure them all. I don't think any task in your business should not be measured, right? I don't think any talent in your business should not be measured. Everything should be measured so it could be managed. So I'm gonna say that's number one. Number two, I'll say network, 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 network. You got to build relationships. This is a people to people, people to business, people to organizations, people to facilities. This is a people business, guys, where you got to build those relationships with professionals um, that service the same ideal client you want to service. Um, how do you get, you know, to the adult children of the people that you want to service? So networking, I'm going to say is number two. And I'm not putting these in any specific order going forward um, because I'm just doing the top five. The next one I would say is have the philosophy like the franchise. I used to own a couple of franchises in a different industry. And the number one thing they taught us is to be known as the local expert. So that's the third thing I want to mention when you're thinking about how to get clients in your home care business. You got to you gotta have those KPIs in place. You got to network like crazy. You have to become known on not have to, but I want you to become known as the local expert. So when somebody think about home care, they think about you. So that goes along with branding, which that's a whole nother video, but you got to make sure your branding is on point. Your message is clear. And then how do I um, spend these monies, right? This money, 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 this is money. How do I spend the money that I have allocated to invest in my business for marketing, for community, you know, events, for, you know, as far as volunteering, serving, what does that budget look like, right? So that's going to be um, another thing that's really important. I believe that's number four. Number five is going to be 
actually is going to fall right in line with that because before you could spend the money, you got to know how much you got to spend, right? Before you put together that marketing plan, you got to know how much you got to spend, right? And then the last one I would say is, mm, I think I gave you five. So we have establish your KPIs, network, 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 be known as the local expert, uh, how to spend that money and what is your budget, right? So those are the five right? So it's really, really important guys to have that down because a lot of people want to know, like they come and they're like, Hey coach, I started my business last year and I don't have any clients. I, I, I see all these testimonial Tuesdays on your Facebook page. You know, I've been, you know, looking at all of your YouTube videos, but I don't have any clients. Usually when people say that guys, it's because they're not doing the work. I have not ran across anyone that's doing the work consistently, for a consistent amount of time and it don't doesn't take a lot of time that fall into that category of it's not working. So it's really important guys to do the work. Actually, I should make that number 5 and put number the previous number 4 and 3 together. So the fifth one is going to be do the work because you cannot gain clients and grow a sustainable business if you're not doing the work, like the previous video I did when I talked about, you know, your plan, your implementation and um, uh, what was the other one? Execute. What, what are you executing? What are you what are you doing if you're not planning? So it's really, really important, guys, to make sure that you understand all five of these. So I'm going to repeat them again. So I'm going to say number one, and not in a, any specific order, right? Your KPIs, your key performance indicator. Number two is network, network, network. Number three is become known as the local expert. Guys, when you are working to become known and putting yourself in a position to become known as the local expert, guess what? A lot of times you're not spending money. And if you are, it's very, very little. It's a tiny amount. Because you're out there doing that, you know, footwork and that sweat equity and the grassroots effort. So it's it's not that involved, right? So as far as money, right? It's just your time. So then that's so the, so that's number three. Number four, I'm putting four and five together, your budget and how you're spending that money. Your budget and how you spend the money. And then number five, I'm saying is do the dang on work. Do the work. Give God something to bless. Do the work. Get out there and um, implement everything that you know that needs to be implemented, right? Really, really important. And then I want you guys to watch the other video, the one that talks about how do I grow a home care business because growing a home care business and getting clients are two totally different things in my head. Let me know down in the comments if those are two different things in your head. And if it's not, why? Talk to me. Let me hear. I, I, I would love to, you know, converse and, sh and get into this with you. So, guys, this is Coach Michelle coming to you live from the ATL. Um, I'm doing my very best because I can go on and on and on because I love what I do. I'm doing my very best to give you high impact nuggets real quick and short with, you know, 10 minutes or less. So let me know what you guys think about the quick high impact, give it to you raw kind of information versus a more long, long, um, drawn out, you know, um, conversation. So just, I, I, I need that feedback, right? So if you want more videos, you know what to do. Click the bell, turn on the notifications, like the video and subscribe. Remember I asked you guys last week, a lot of people watch, 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 but they don't click the button to subscribe. Guys, it's really, really, really important. And um, I will see you on the next video and take care. God bless. Thank you, thank you, thank you for rolling with your coach.